Hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Radical Red here on HDV Plays. It is the final, as long as there's no post game, it is the final of this highly difficult series that I've been playing and that I have been stressing about. It is difficult man, but we are finally here, one battle away from completing the game. If you are excited for today's video, drop a like down below. Let's try to hit 300 likes for the final. Leave a comment what you want me to play after Pokemon Radical Red and subscribe if you're brand new on our way to 5,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can hit that relatively soon. Anyway, in the last episode we took out Lance and Agatha. The episode before we took out Lorelei and Bruno. Now we've got the final, the champion. One battle between me and and the crown of Pokemon Radical Red Defeater, if that's even a word. Um, scared about his team, don't know what he's got, but you guys in the comments have said that he leads with a Crocodile. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to lead with Primarina. Uh, I'm guessing it's a Stealth Rock Crook, um, but, you know, being able to kill that Crocodile relatively quickly with Primarina would be quite nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, those Stealth Rocks are not the best thing in the world. But we're going to lead with Primarina. Um, as long as it leaves with Crocodile. I don't know if the champion has multiple teams anyway, but a lot of you guys have said Crocodile, so I'm guessing that there isn't two teams for the champion. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Let's get into the champion. I'm scared. Ooh, here he is. Hey, Matty. I was looking forward to seeing you. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now... I'm the Pokemon League champion. Maddie, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. <laughs> I always remember like the episode in Origins, because I've literally been watching Origins so, so much to um, take like screenshots and stuff for the thumbnails. And I've just been watching it because it's really good. And literally when he says that bit, it's just like, oh, shivers. So I just always remember that bit now from when he says those words uh, in like any time I play him. Anyway, challenge by Blue. Does he leave with Crocodile? He does leave with Crocodile. Okay, sweet. All right, let's just kill him as quick as possible. So Primarina is here. Has the Intimidate, that's fine. I don't know how long this episode is going to be, by the way. Because if I lose, um, i got to do it all again. And if I win, I don't know how long it's going to be. Anyway, let's see. Uh, I'm going to hit it with a sparkling area. Goes for the Taunt. Okay. I'm fine with that. Wait, is it Focus Sash? Oh my god, do we just kill... Do we? Can we not get Stealth Rocks up right now? That would be perfect, because then Charizard can j literally just... Don't be focused. So it's Focus Sash. Alright, so he's going to get the Rocks up. Fair play. That's a little bit annoying. But I should be able to kill the Krook. He goes for the Earthquake. Okay, no Rocks. As long as I live this. Which I do with ease. Okay, or that is perfect. No Rocks It makes Charizard happy. He's an happy chappy. So Crocodile goes down. Okay, we are winning this battle. We are winning this battle. If I just don't, if I just stop recording now, I'll I'll go to I'll go to sleep tonight happy because we we're winning this battle. Right, what do you bring in next? A dark rye. Can he one shot me from? No, can he kill me from here? Because I have Moonblast. Can he kill me from here? Because I resist dark. I'm going to go for Moonblast. He's gone for Nasty Plot. Interesting. Wait, Moonblast should kill. Maybe? It's Focus Sash as well. Is his whole bloody team Focus Sash or something? Um. Well, I'm dying now. Wait, what's he going to go for? He's probably going to go for... He's going to go for a Dark type move. No, I'm just going to sack Primarina off. He goes for Thunderbolt. Okay. Oh, I... See, in the back of my head, I was like, maybe I go into Luxray because of that Dark type move. And I could... Because <sighs> I can Sucker Punch it. I'm going to come in... Wait, do I come in with Luxray and Sucker Punch? Or do I come in with Garchomp? Or do I come in with Aegislash and Shadow Sneak? I can easily kill this right now. I think I'm just going to go in with Luxray. I'm going to go in with Luxray and hit it with a, sh um, a Sucker Punch. 
I, there's three different ways to kill this. Because I outspeed it with Garchomp. So I can literally declaw it with uh, Garchomp. Sucker Punch it with Luxray. Or Shadow Sneak it with Aegislash. Slash. Right, Sucker Punch. Alright, so Darkrai goes down. Alright, we're still winning now. I've got five mons left, all on full HP. He's lost his Darkrai. And there's no rocks up. What do you have next? That's an issue. <sighs> That's an issue. Um, I don't really know what to do here. This is fire ground. I always thought original ground on was fire ground, but it's just ground type. But this is fire ground. Um, he's going to go for an earthquake. Or some sort of ground type move. So I could go into Charizard. And hit him with a fat solar beam. Uh, I can come with Charizard, hit him with a fat solar beam, which is neutral. And then depending on how much that does... I could come in with Garchomp and EQ it, and I think that should be enough to take out the Groudon. But will I need Charizard, though? That's the thing. I mean, he's going to have Blastoise. I know that. So how will I kill Blastoise, though? I mean, Alexam outspeeds, and Garchomp will outspeed. Okay, so I think that combination should... I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into Charizard. If he doesn't go for a Ground-type move here, then I'm screwed. But he should go for a Ground-type move here. Cliff Blades... Well, that was Cliff Blades. Isn't that principle of a bill of blades? Right. Solar Beam. Come on, Charizard. Hit it with the fattest Solar Beam. I mean, I'm going to outspeed because Groudon's slow. How much is this doing? Half, please. Didn't do half. Oh, if he missed that rock tomb, then I would have been sitting pretty. Okay. Um, Garchomp EQ kill from here, maybe. It should. Oh, no. I just lost my Charizard so easily. I mean, if this, is, if this kills, it was worth it. If this kills, it was worth it. Okay, alright, Charizard, your death was not in vain. Okay, what does he have now? What does he have for a guard? Is now he's going to bring his Blastoise in, right? Togekiss! Uh, okay, I just go into Aegislash. He's just going to go for a fairy type move. I just go into. I don't even double think this, I just go into Aegislash. Goes for the Air Slash. Which I absolutely yummy yummy eat. Now I can Iron Head. Oh, is he going to try and flinch me? Are we playing this, Blue? Are we playing this? Are you quaking in your boots? Do I flinch? No. Is this going to one-shot? Oh, that's alright, I can Shadow Sneak, it's fine. Oh, he's got Berry. Oh, Leftovers, no, okay. Shadow Sneak from here will kill. Okay. He still has that Blastoise left. What else does he have? How many Mons does he have left? Bro, we are in a really good situation here. Am I actually going to beat this Elite Four without Elite? He's got two Mons. Okay, here's Blastoise. Um, Mega Blastoise. Um, I mean, if he shell smashes here, it's a problem. If he shell smashes here, it's a problem because he'll kill me. I have to gamble here. 
Do I close combat predicting a shell smash? Or do I shadow sneak predicting like um, a dark wolf or something? I think the better bet is to go close combat. Because I don't think shadow sneak will do that much. That is stab. I'm going to go shadow sneak. I'm going to do it. Predicting a dark wolf. Because I'm in blade form right now. Take the bait. Go for a dark pulse. Take the bait, Blastoise. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So that will kill me. But I got some nice damage off on it. Because I couldn't have switched out. Because the it would have been too risky. Right, okay. So... Okay, right. So, Luxray won't outspeed, and he'll probably one-shot Luxray. Alakazam will outspeed. Don't know if a Psychic will kill. Garchomp will outspeed. Don't know if Earthquake will kill. So... I'm going to go into Alakazam. Alakazam, I think, is my hardest hitter. Choice Specs, Alakazam, Psychic, Stab, Bang Bang, See Ya, should do a lot of damage here. Is it going to kill? Ah, oh, that's so close. I honestly thought that was going to kill from there. I honestly thought that was going to kill. Uh, he still has one mod left as well. Oh my god, it's literally 2v2. I mean, I can come in with Luxray and Sucker Punch. And then it's a 2v1. And I have my Choice Scarf Garchomp in the back. We should be able to outspeed anything he brings in. I don't want to know what his last Pokemon is. <laughs> uh. Okay, doesn't Shell Smash. Alright. He has one Mon left. It's going to be a Legendary. Mega Rayquaza. A Ditto! Oh my god, that's put. I win. I actually win. Garchomp just... I win. Garchomp just outspeeds and one-shots it with EQ. I win. Let's just get some residual damage off in case it's focus sashed. I actually win. Get some more damage off. I think I win. I think Garchomp just comes in and EQs. Please. I mean, I definitely outspeed. He's not living it. There's no way he's living that. I think I've just won. I won't, I'm not going to get happy until he dies. I don't believe it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. How is it that I lose to Giovanni 54 times... And then beat the Elite Four without losing. <sighs> That's a madness. I don't believe this. His team wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought he was going to have Mega Rayquaza, maybe an Arceus. What was the strongest thing on his team, really? I mean, he had the Darkrai. That wasn't really an issue, though. Um, I didn't really struggle on any of his Mons. I just played it. Like I think I just had a Mon that was good for like all the Pokemon he had. I think. There wasn't really a Pokemon that I struggled on. Because he led with Kruk, he had Togekiss, he had... He didn't have anything, really. Like, that wasn't that bad. I'm still, like, taking it all in. God, I hope my recording doesn't mess up. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Knock on wood. <laughs> I can't believe we've done it. This is mad, though.
I cannot believe we've beaten Pokemon Radical Red. <laughs> Congratulations, Matty. We've we've done it. Is there a post game? I mean, like I don't know. Is there? I mean, well, I guess we're gonna find out. Bro, da na na na, da na 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 na. Banging tune, man. I want to listen to it. Da na na na, da na 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 na. My boy Charizard had to be with me from the start. Had to use my starter. Da na 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 Okay. <laughs> there we go. Boom. 67 hours and 42 minutes. A lot longer than your average Pokemon game. <laughs> oh, this is a banger as well. I want to listen to this. A lot of you, yeah, no one's asked why I don't play with headphones. But you have to listen to music. You have to. Input the walking sequence. Look back at what you've done, and then bang, he's off. This is such a banger. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy. I'm happy. And sad at the same time. This is over. Radical Red is over. <sighs> it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Radical Red is over. I feel like I haven't completed a series in a long time. I mean, I haven't really done one on the main channel in a long time. Apart from, like, live series. But, um... Yeah, man. Honestly, Radical Red, I have so much to thank for. Because it's really helped out the second channel. Like, since I started uploading Radical Red, like, the videos have been doing really, really well. Um, I don't know what this means now. I don't know if they're going to start doing bad. Because Radical Red's over or what. But I hope it doesn't. Like I say, uh, next series that I'm uploading on this channel is the Pokemon Emerald. But every time I find a shiny, I release a Pokemon. Um, that's going to get uploaded, uh, obviously, in two days after this. I don't know what day this is going up. Um, probably tomorrow, I guess. Because uh, I need to edit it. But it, it won't even take long to edit, to be fair. Um, so, yeah. Then we've got Pokemon Emerald going up. And then I've got a couple of other ideas I want to do. But like I say, I stream all of this on Twitch. Not this one, but all the series that are going to be uploaded all get streamed on Twitch. It'll be linked in the description down below. Make sure to go check out the Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over there. So if you want to be in the actual, you know, action as it happens, make sure to follow me on Twitch. They're really, really cool streams over there. I just can't believe I beat the Elite Four, man, without, without losing. I honestly cannot believe it. Like, I failed miserably so much during this whole... I mean, I, I think I played pretty well through the Elite Four, to be fair. I think I played really, really well. Um, I don't think I really made any mistakes. I feel like the only mistake I made was on that Melmetal. But, like, at the same time, I pulled it back. I pulled it back. But we did it. We did it. I wonder what the other teams are. I really want to know what their other teams would have been. Like, if they used their other teams, would I have lost? Um, Maybe I just got lucky with the team that I got. I mean, to be fair... First time I battled Lorelei, her team wasn't that hard. And then I battled her good team the second time with Prime Prime Primal Kyogre um, and, and Mega Swampert and all that, which was tricky. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would have struggled on their other teams. Who knows? Um, but I guess we'll never know. Unless I do like this again as like a Nuzlocke or something. I don't think I'll Nuzlocke this. I mean, it's too difficult. I've probably got about 80 plus deaths during this playthrough. So I don't think I'd be able to Nuzlocke this. I'd have to... F I mean, I'd have to EV train as quick as possible. And I mean, I know what they have. Like, tr like gyms and stuff. Apart from the Elite Four. Let's just speed up through this anyway. And see if uh, anything happens in the post game. Let's see if anything happens. Oh, Madness. So is that it? Is that... Is that literally Radical Red? Is there no, like, post game? I mean, I guess I can go catch Mewtwo, but... Is that really it? I'm crazy. I thought there'd be something. 
I mean, you can complete the Pokedex and stuff. I guess it's doable, because there's no, like, version exclusives or anything. But, I mean, do I go catch Mewtwo? Does something happen if I go try and catch Mewtwo? I mean, I could just try that at the end of this episode. Oh, my God, there's... I mean, there's always been that many legendaries, to be fair. I don't know what I'm all my god about. Anyway, Cerulean Sea. Let's just quickly go Mount Moon. Uh, Mount Moon, Cerulean Cave is what I meant to say. Uh, the good old EV grind was a special attack, I think. This place. I, to be fair, I, I literally just chose this team and decided to go with it. And I'm so lucky I did, because they're actually a really good team. Right, Cerulean Cave. I'm guessing someone's in here. Um, let me just max repel. Let me just go see what Mewtwo's saying. I'll just master ball it, but I just kind of want to see what he's saying. Just see if anything happens. Like, maybe there might be like a big battle against Silver or something. Uh, because Giovanni did say, like, look out for Silver or something like that, didn't he? But let's just see. Uh, this way. The amount of times I've done this because of how many times I lost to the bloody duo. Kind of ridiculous. I should know the way off by heart by now. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's just there, chilling. I think I just master ball it. I'm just going to master. I'm not going to spend like ages trying to catch it. I'm just going to master ball it. I just want to see if there's like a big battle or something. Uh, I thought there was a big battle then, but it was just me repel warring out. Let's go over here. Hello, Mewtwo. Yeah, okay, there's no battle. I just fight him. Level 70. Uh, Master Ball. I mean, my XP goes up. Does that mean I can now get to level 100? Nothing happens now. Uh, let me use an escape rope. Do I have any escape ropes? I have one left. Right, let me go see what he's saying. There must be something to do, like, because my levels can go back up. Unless I can be the champion. Can I do anything to the Elite Four again? I mean, I should probably save after just catching you two. Yo, get the <laughs> you be the game ready. But for the Elite Four rematch will be available eventually. Eventually. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather like, yo, get out of here. You ain't challenging us again. All right, let's see what Mewtwo's saying. There he is. What IVs does he have? Three perfect IVs. That's a terrible nature, to be fair. Speed down, special attack up. I can't believe we've done it, man. It's, it's crazy. Another level 72 Nat. <laughs> it's just so random. But I guess that's everything for Pokemon Radical Red. I mean, there's nothing more to do. Um, thank you all so much for watching the series. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys continue to watch the series that I do on this channel. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all next time. So until then, peace.